I believe we are going to get an expansion trailer this week for New World and I'm going to tell you why I believe that and what might happen if I'm wrong. So let me jump in and explain what I'm talking about. It's worth noting that some people don't even realise we are getting an expansion and that it's coming probably in about four months. This was the 2023 roadmap and that season 3 and expansion timeline I believe will be very early October if we go off when the seasons are currently trending they're every three months season two is going to start around July 6th three months on from that is start of October that's literally four months away most other MMOs when they're doing big content you get trailers a little bit earlier than what we're getting right now well I think did Dragonflight I think they announced it in April and then released it in like October November and ESO are just now releasing something they announced six seven months ago so New World is already having a short window now you might be like well why is it coming this week Jay what's the what's the scoop why are you saying that the expansion trailer is going to come this week well that is all because of this for those of you who don't know this Thursday the 8th of June we're going to be getting the Summer Games Fest it kicks off and it, I think there's like quite a few days but the main event where I think Amazon will actually reveal their stuff starts at around 8 p.m. UK time. Sorry, I'm not sure what that translates to wherever you are in the world, obviously. And it's quite clear that they have the partner list. And if you look right in the top left corner, I'll actually just use my mouth and show you that it's around here. We have Amazon Games. So Amazon are going to show something at Summer Games Fest. That much is pretty much confirmed. No, that doesn't necessarily guarantee it's going to be New World related. There's a few other things that it could be. Of course, it might be New World but it could also be Lost Ark. I sort of suspect they will delay this, but in theory, it could be a Throne of Liberty announcement, maybe for a beta or something like that. However, a lot of you will realise that that might not be the case and that might be delayed. Blue Protocol is getting a release in the West at the start of next year, but I believe it actually comes out in Japan this month. Maybe there will be some kind of announcement, maybe some kind of beta for that game. They have an... They have a project with a company called Disruptive, which sort of sounds MMO-esque because it's an online multiplayer action adventure game, but it might be a MOBA. I'm not really sure exactly what that game is, but it could be something related to this. They're in partnership with a company called Glow Mode. I don't know who they are necessarily. And uh, they could also be doing Tomb Raider. They have the next game. They're going to be publishing the next game by Crystal Dynamics. We could very easily get a trailer there. And if I'm honest, I think it's way too soon for anything for Lord of the Rings. So I'm just going to exclude this one. My point being is that there's quite a few things that they might want to show off. And it might be that they actually don't want to ruin season two because obviously season two is coming out in July. If they announce an expansion now with all of its new features and stuff like that, maybe people won't buy into season two. However, I sort of think it might work the opposite way around. When we look at Brimstone Sands, the announcement of Brimstone Sands brought people back. I think the announcement and the reveal of the trailer of the expansion will be much bigger than season two ever could be. So I'm sort of convinced that it could happen and I'm sort of convinced that it should happen. If the expansion is four months away, like now is truly the best time. It's worth noting that Jeff and Scott seem to have a pleasant relationship. Scott has done a lot of things and Amazon in general have done a lot of things at Jeff's shows. So it would make sense that Amazon, who are the, actually making New World, that studio, might want to do something at one of Jeff's events. Now, actually, this video is taken from Gamescom rather than Summer Games Fest. Gamescom, I think, is probably the other event where they might want to release it at. Gamescom, however, is at the end of August. That literally might be just over a month away from when the expansion is going to drop. Now, maybe Amazon really want to keep their cards close to their chest, milk as much as they can from Season 2, and then quickly announce and release the expansion trailer and stuff like that. But I sort of just don't really believe that. It doesn't really make sense. Why would Amazon book the trend from pretty much the entire industry do not answer that i know what you're thinking and try and drop an expansion trailer and then they release that quickly right now they have a massive open goal throne liberty is not looking that hot right now the next probably big mmo that's going to be like in contention i suspect maybe there'll be a new final fantasy expansion announcement or something like that blizzcon will probably be around the time where we we'll maybe get an announcement for its expansion but that'll be after the release of new worlds like no New World, Amazon have a perfect opportunity and if they can deliver, everybody who likes New World will be very, very happy. So I cannot guarantee that we are going to get a New World expansion trailer this Thursday at 8pm, but what I can guarantee is that I'm going to stream it live on Twitch. We're going to do the build up all day and we're going to watch it live. There'll be a link to my Twitch in the description. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You can all laugh in my face. You can all throw egg on my face or whatever the phrase might be. But logically, it just makes too much sense that right now would be when you want to release your expansion trailer. If I'm wrong, I have no idea what they are doing. If they do it at Gamescom, that's way too late. I think the expansion would actually bring more hype and interest in the game. 
and we really need to see it start ramping up. I have a feeling the expansion is way bigger than a lot of us actually even expect, even though maybe not myself because I'm saying it's way bigger, but you know what I mean. I think we may even be getting like a level increase. I think it might be a proper substantial expansion. There might be multiple zones. There might be a zombie work. There might be a PvP zone. Like I think there's going to be a lot in here because it's also worth noting that KE actually said this is the first time they've called it an expansion. Some people are saying it was Brimstone. That's an expansion. No, they expanded the map. Sure. But KE said we are aware that we this is the first time we're calling it an expansion and basically the expectation that comes along with that. I'm convinced they're going to deliver on it, at least to some extent. And I think the ramp up starts this week. If I'm wrong, it will be embarrassing, but I've been wrong before and I'm definitely going to be wrong again. However, sometimes I do get it right and I'm praying and hoping and believing that this is one time I'm going to be right. But as I said, I could not guarantee it. But you should come along and watch me over on Twitch because we're going to be live streaming it. We're going to be live watching it. And I'll tell you right now, my copium is going to be on maximum reserves. Come along. We're going to have a lot of fun. What you should definitely do for now is have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.